Hello, welcome back to Visionary Fragrances. Today we're going to take a look at Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Now there are two questions I would like to answer in this video and that is, is the price justified and should you buy it? The price is £240 for 50ml and £340 for 100ml. That is the retail price if you bought it from Tom Ford, Harrods, anywhere like that. So these are the two questions we're going to answer during this video. Enjoy. As you first spray Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, you're hit with a beautiful uh, semi-sweet cherry note. That's going to be the main note in the opening. And you also get a lovely almond. So if you imagine like a, a marzipan type note, you get that in there as well. It's very uh, prominent. It's not just cherry. You're going to get almond and mixed with a lovely uh, liquor note. So think something like a, a rum, um, some liquor of that kind. And in the base notes, you're going to have a sweet tonka bean and some benzoin. They're going to be the main notes for me. There is probably some more notes built into this fragrance, but they're the main notes that I get. Uh, the cherry in the opening does not stay through the whole life of the fragrance. And as it dries down, um, as the name suggests actually, uh, it's lost cherry, you do lose the cherry and it becomes more of a, um, a sweet, boozy scent. So if you imagine tonka bean and boozy notes, uh, that's predominantly what I get with the marzipan almond note as well. Um, so I think the name kind of makes sense. Lost cherry, you do lose the cherry uh, after the opening. I do wish it kind of stayed uh, a little bit longer because the cherry I do love cherry in fragrances there aren't many fragrances I own or have tried with cherry in so it's a shame it doesn't last so much longer but they're the main notes I get in Tom Ford Lost Cherry now Lost Cherry is certainly a rich fragrance it's not just one dimensional it's not uh, it's not very light it's got lots of depth and lots of character and what I do really enjoy about it is you can smell the different facets of the fragrance you smell the cherry you smell the almond marzipan note you've got the liquor you've got the sweeter note as well so you do you do get quite a rich character and that can be really interesting as I say the cherry doesn't last all that long on my skin at least is there very strong in the opening it's very kind of in your face and it really does project very well in the opening but then it dries down fairly quickly to a sweet boozy sort of tonka bean like scent now when I was a kid I used to eat these sweets called cherry drops I'll try and insert a picture around here so you can see what they look like if I can find one but they were uh, cherry sweets and I used to eat them all the time and uh, when I first smelt this it really reminded me of those sweets so it, I kind of have some uh, childhood memories uh, from eating those sweets but as I say that is just uh, a cherry sweet and this is more uh, more than just cherry this is also the booziness you've also got the um, almond marzipan as well so it's not just cherry but it does remind me of those uh, cherry drops that I used to eat as a kid. I find Tom Ford Lost Cherry completely unisex but I think it depends on what kind of man you are as to if you would want to wear this fragrance. For example I couldn't imagine like a man's man wearing this particularly. You know, think someone a big burly man where you know drives a uh, a white van, works on a, a building site or does a manual job, goes for pint of Stella after work every day. Uh, I couldn't imagine somebody like that wearing Lost Cherry. I think it just leans too feminine for that. I know that is maybe stereotypical of me and for that I am sorry, uh, but it's just how I feel about this fragrance. I think it does lean slightly feminine unless you're a certain type of person um, certain type of man who you think you could pull this off i've got no issues with even wearing women fragrances sometimes i don't really care i think uh, fragrances generally are, are gender gender neutral but that is um my point is a kind of a man's man i don't think would want to wear this fragrance uh but for a, a woman i think any age um where at any occasion, any time of year, would could wear this. I find it incredibly sexy, and I would love if my girlfriend would wear this fragrance. I think it's beautiful. I believe this is a unique fragrance in a sense that I haven't tried anything that is uh, very similar to this, but then I haven't tried every fragrance that exists. So, guys, if you know of a fragrance, not a dupe or a clone, but if you know of a independent fragrance that has some similar qualities and smells similar to this please leave a comment down below because i would love to to know so if you know anything similar to this please let me know down in the comments performance is a big question especially when you're looking at the price point performance on my skin is just okay it's nothing spectacular 
as I said in the opening, it does project uh, really kind of harshly and strongly for the first few minutes with that beautiful cherry note. But in terms of actual projection and longevity through the whole life of it, it's just okay. It lasts a fair amount of time on my skin, six hours or so, and it doesn't particularly project much more after the uh, initial opening. So if you're spending that much money on a fragrance, I don't think, I think that it should, uh, be a better performer or I would at least hope that it would be so performance on my skin is just okay I would give it a 5 out of 10 for performance now we're going to talk about the price is the price justified I think absolutely not I don't understand the price at all 240 pounds for 50 mil or 340 pound for 100 mil this hasn't got Udin this hasn't got anything that I recognize to be very very expensive ingredients I don't understand why it has to be so expensive. Tom Ford's private blend line, think Tobacco Vanille, Oudwood, Tuscan Leather, they're expensive anyway. But at least you can get a 250 mil bottle if you wanted to uh, for a cheaper price per mil. This only comes in 50 and 100. Same as Bitter Peach, only comes in 50 and 100. I think the new Ebene Fume comes in only 50 mil. And I don't understand why they need to make it so expensive. 240 pound for 50 mil is insane and I don't think that although I love the fragrance you've seen how I described it really enjoy it I don't think it's justified you know what fragrance is justified at that price point for a similar price you could buy something like Amouage Interludes 53 which is around 380 pounds for 100 mil completely different fragrance I understand that but the quality and the longevity and the pure skill and craftsmanship of of interlude 53 is is incomparable to this interlude 53 is um, an unbelievable fragrance you can really appreciate the kind of skill that has got into it it's 53 percent oils perfume oils it lasts about a week on your on your skin so why is this so expensive that is something that i don't understand and and for that reason i'm unable to say that the price is justified for lost cherry so the next question and the last question is should you buy it well if you like the fragrance if you've tried it i would recommend sampling it first going to a store buying a, a sample online um do not blind buy it because it is so expensive and i think that you need to know if you love the fragrance so if you love the fragrance and money is not an issue to you by all means buy it and the reason why i say that is because i don't know of an alternative i can't come here and say you shouldn't buy this you should buy this because i haven't tried anything that is ex that is as you know really similar to this and as as good as i said leave a comment if you know of something that's really similar that's not a dupe so because i can't think of anything similar and if you really love lost cherry and you have to have you know that smell then buy it but i will not justify the price because i don't think it's worth it guys thank you so much for watching um i hope that you got something from this video i hope you uh can understand that i think the it's overpriced or I hope that you at least understand I like the fragrance and you like the way I explained the notes leave me a comment down below if you have tried lost cherry and let me know if you think it's overpriced I will see you in a few days with another video take care